Hello beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan your way to calm and plan a calmer life. This video today, um, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about something that is probably on a lot of people's minds right now during this time of year. Uh, we're coming to the end of December 2023 and looking forward to January 2024. And with that comes goals or specifically goal setting. And I want to do a video to address my thoughts on goal setting and how I will be approaching um, attaining and achieving um, what I would love to achieve this year. Um, going into the new year with a different mindset. One of the things that um, really struck out to me was um, the idea of that pressure that I put on myself um, when it comes to goals. And I have, um, I'm somebody who's extremely, you know, goal oriented. I like to set goals and achieve goals. But one of the things that were happening this year that I found was that when I set out goals, a lot of times I was not in control of whether or not I would achieve them. And the disappointment that came with not achieving my goals really led to some really um, toxic and really bad feelings and emotions, etc. And so um, moving into this new year, I want to approach this mindset, goal setting mindset with uh, a new a new head on my shoulders. And instead of going and looking at it from a goal accomplished perspective, what I want is to look at it from what do I care about and what do I value in my life and making sure that I keep those things in check. And so um, as usual, I was watching Rachel and Theory's channel. And if you don't know who she is, I highly recommend that you check her out. She has a fantastic channel. She just approaches this whole world of planning and organization with a totally different lens and it's it's brilliant, it's beautiful, it's refreshing. But in one of her latest videos, she talked about looking at achieving your goals through um, addressing the values that you have. And what I am going to do though, is I took some concepts from that video and applied it to myself and what I wanted. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the camera around and show you um, what I'm going to be doing to accomplish what I want to accomplish this upcoming year. And I hope this video is of value and support and as a resource for you, because I know what it feels like to put something out there, to want to achieve something and you don't. Um, having a child is another one. <laughs> Just putting that out there too. There's so many things in my life that um, I had goals for. And when I didn't achieve those goals, I felt like a failure. And I don't want to go into this new year with that type of mentality and mindset. I want to look at things from a totally different perspective, a totally different lens, and just approach things um, with some fresh eyes for the new year. So Alrighty, planner friends. So this is going to be my setup for how I plan to reevaluate and evaluate evaluate uh, the things that I want to accomplish this year, aka goal setting. Um, like I mentioned in the intro, I'm having a different perspective on how I approach goal setting this year and looking at it from a value perspective. So in my life, there are seven things, seven principles that I value in my life, things that I want to build on and grow upon in 2024. All the things that I do in my life will be working towards accomplishing and living within the values that I set for myself. So to start off with, um, the value that I uh, first and foremost acknowledge is God. God is a major presence of love, support, guidance, protection, you name it, God is my everything. And so as a Christian, I'm constantly striving to have my values align with God. And it's been such a blessing going through this anxiety journey, I guess you can say, um, and re, just reestablishing and re 
connecting with my relationship with God because God helped me through all of that. And it's just been so wonderful to have that experience with God is health. And this year we had a lot of health challenges, uh, both my husband and myself, mainly my husband. And this really helped me to reevaluate how I want to live my life in terms of the type of health that I want to maintain for myself and for our family, the types of foods that I put in my body. So this year, moving into the new year, it's changing all of that and recognizing what I value. If I prioritize health, I'm not going to want to lean towards eating foods that are not going to fuel me and help me and sustain me. I'm going to lean more towards foods that are good for me and whatever. And with all of that, like in the past, for instance, I'd always have as one of my goals to lose weight. I never knew where I was going with that goal. Like I knew I was going to walk and I was going to exercise, but every year the scale gets higher and higher and higher. <laughs> So obviously that goal setting is not working for me, honey, okay? And so um, my approach to my health is just feeding my body what it needs to be healthy. And health is my focus. If I focus on health, I believe the other goals that I want for my body will fall into place naturally. Uh, my next value, the next thing that I value is what I call F and F or family and friends. And family and friends are very important to me. And I'm somebody who's I'm an introvert. Um, I like to keep to myself, but I really, really love my family and my friends. They are paramount in my life and I want to do whatever I can to sustain those uh, relationships, which goes to my next value and that is connections. Now this is something I will be honest with you as an introvert, I extremely struggle with connections. Um, and that is something as simple as keeping in touch with people, texting people, calling people, um, sending postcards and birthday cards and all that kind of stuff. I just always get so consumed in with whatever I'm doing that this always falls to the wayside. And I don't want it to anymore in my life. This isn't just a value that I, I want to appreciate in 2024. It's something that I want to continue on um, in the for the rest of my life is maintain those values so even with the the planner fam you know if you drop in a comment i want to make sure that i'm responding right away i read all the comments i appreciate all the comments people taking time out to message and comment on my videos and my channel that means so much to me and i want to make sure i'm keeping all of those connections intact uh, my next value that i'm going to value or the next thing i'm going to put place on is my dreams. Um, another thing that I value is my peace. Um, I'm somebody, like I said, I am an introvert and part of being an introvert is having time for myself and having that be okay. Um, I don't want to, to come off as, you know, I don't care about people, whatever. I love people. I love being around people. People love being around me. Um, it's, it's a great thing and it's a great feeling, but I do know in order to recharge, I need to have God. I need to have space. I need to have um, time alone and I need to have my peace. And so I'm going to value my peace in ways in where I'm um, taking time out for myself and the things that I enjoy, spending time with God, um, talking with him more, praying with him more and having that bond and that relationship. So these two go hand in hand because I can't have God without peace and a vice versa. And my last value, something that I value and something that I'm going to be working on in the new year is service to others. And this is something that I, a value that I've seen in my husband since we've been married and something that I admire so much about him. He's somebody who is so service oriented and I've learned to be that just by seeing his example. And I want to be more of a service to others. So I want to give more. I want to take my time and to serve other people as much as I can. So right now, I'm already working on this this value. I'm coaching a team right now. I'm coaching a basketball team, the boys basketball team at my school. And it's just been such a wonderful experience. Tiring, but wonderful. And um, there's another coach that coaches as well. And she is phenomenal. And the two of us um, just have a great time with that team. And so um, that has really sparked my interest in 
um, serving other people in other ways. So whatever can I can do to help, I want to really um, value that into the new year and find other ways to help um, service other people in, in ways that will help them to grow and to mature and to, you know, just to give back to the community. It doesn't have to be to young people. If there was an opportunity to service old people in other ways, um, I'll happily embrace that too. So uh, there you have it, my friends. Um, this is how I'm going to be addressing my goals for using the value system, looking at things that I value in my life. So God, health, family and friends, connections, my, my dreams, my peace and servicing others. And I'm going to really focus on having these be at the forefront of all of my actions and things that I want to accomplish for the new year. And I'm really, really excited about this new approach, this fresh approach that I'm taking to my goal setting practice. And so thank you so, so much for watching, for taking time out to, to listen and to watch. And until the next video, my beautiful friends, take care, be well, be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next planner video. Bye-bye planner peeps.